Hey guys, I'm Rosalfane, and welcome back to another episode of Guacamelee 2. Where we last left off was we finished up our Jade Temple. Yeah, we're J we ran through the Jade Temple, got the Jade Relic, but also unlocked the ability to be a chicken again, and also have fighting abilities as a chicken, apparently. So we'll be doing... Uh, so we're, we're here in this town to uh, return to the Uechivo, the Council of Uechivos, to show them that we've got the Jade Relic, and then help or let them help us figure out what the next plan is to stop Salvador from picking up the last two remaining uh, relics that is needed for him to make the legendary guacamole that can turn back time I believe I believe so yeah wait why is this way Chival did welcome back I'll show a hunt for the relics going so is there only one dead way Chival all this time while the rest is all alive. Juan, you got the relic. Now hurry, we must bring it to our ally at the Alabrije Alagre in Villa Chula. He'll be waiting for you. Though, to get there, you'll need to need the dash punch ability. And there's only one known dash punch statue left in one of our in all of our timelines. Uwe Chivo, from the timeline with all the statues. Y yes Your Chozo Chuzo statue collection contains the only dash punch statue left in all the timelines. You will have to let Juan take it. It's for the greater good. <clears throat> what? But woof fine. I guess I could spare one of my statues. Ah, it's stored in my basement where I keep a comprehensive Chuzo statue collection. They're all still complete in box, sealed, and in mint condition. Wash your hands before you enter, right? Open up the portal into the timeline with all the statues. I imagine that there's more than just that statue that will break in that reality, which is gonna suck a little bit. Come on, hurry and find the Dash Punch statue. We cannot afford to waste any more time. Uh, can I talk to some people? It's been the timeline. It's been to the. I've been to the timeline with all the statues before. It contains far more Chuzo statues than I ever imagined. The timeline with all the statues. That way, Chivo always boasts about how big his collection is. I imagine that we will probably be hitting all of them by accident <laughs> and breaking all of them. I could never go to the timeline with all the statues. It's he uses this ridiculously strong air freshener, and it always makes my allergies flare up something fierce. Strange how you got the allergies while everyone else doesn't. Oh, no. Oh, I wanted to see what they have to say. Whoa, hmm, the UA Chivo from the timeline with all the statues has the last uh, Dash Punch Chuzo statue. Maybe that's explaining why Juan from my timeline never made it out of the Temple of War. Wait, <laughs> That's amazing that he took, he might have potentially not be able to make it out of there. But I mean, honestly, the Temple of War, I, I can't remember how that looked like. But I think that was against the, the the Jaguar dude, I think. The Jaguar warrior. I think that was when that time of the Temple of War was at. I wonder. Oh, you won. It's, we're all waiting on you. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Forest del Chivo, we're back here again? Probably nothing in here. Oh, he said he was in this basement, but that's not a basement. That's like literally a room next door. I'm sorry, I wanted to... Oh, there is a platform here. Okay. I wanted to see if there's anything in here that I wanted to grab. I'll probably give us a tutorial as well on top of it. Fresh breath. <laughs> Knew it. We got fresh breath. Really? That was what we get for just like being okay there it is i think this is it quick blink <laughs> now you're just joking with me right oh my god this is hilarious it's like oh wait we're getting weird things we don't oh my god i thought we were getting real abilities but we're not <laughs> good posture unlocked i mean the posture is pretty good enough paper cut immunity unlocked so we can never get cut by paper. 
Sustain resistance unlocked. Speed reading unlocked. Keen eye hindsight unlocked. Clear sinuses unlocked. I would love that right now. Oh god, come on. Refreshing naps unlocked. Medeus touch unlocked. Prehensile tail. Wait, where's my tail? It says prehensile tail. Perfect name recall unlocked. Houseplant proficiency and breathable breathable lucha mask unlocked. Ugh. Final dash punch. There we go. That took a bit too much time. I mean, I've used the dash punch before. It's not. It's not the worst mechanic, honestly. It's pretty good if you're trying to get out of a situation. Uh, horizontally, that is. Like that. Oh, jeez. I hate that. Okay. Alright. Oh, here we go. Cool. Made it out of there. Dash punch. What? What are we dash punching? Oh, oh no. I got it. Yeah, so it just kind of closes that distance out a little bit quickly. Is there no more? Okay, well, yeah, we're stuck to, to getting back anyways. You're back, Juan. How did you like my Trizzo statue collection? <laughs> it's no doubt the largest collection of tri- Wait a minute. Your breath smells extraordinarily fresh. You blink faster than anyone I've ever met. D did you? No. No! <laughs> My precious! <laughs> They're all gone. The statues are all gone. Anyways, Juan. Excellent work. Now that you have Dash Punch, take the Jade Relic to our ally at the Alabreje. Alabreje. Alabre and Villa Chula. Chula. We'll be in touch. <laughs> that guy's. <laughs> his collection is dead now. Hey, Juan, good, good job. I figured you might like some appreciation. Okay, I guess I'll take it. Nice posture, posture Luchador. <laughs> I got it from the statue. <laughs> what do you expect? Whew, I'm feeling sniffy, sniffly think, just thinking about that dust from the timeline with all the statues. Juan, bring me some tissues next time you visit. Uh, I don't think we'll be ever visiting with you. At least now you're, you have Dash Sponge without his collection. You'd probably be stuck here forever. And that's kind of true, though, I guess. I'd say that much. It's kind of true that if without uh, that guy's obsessiveness of getting all those statues, we wouldn't have gotten what we've gotten so far. Why are you loafing around here in, in here, man? You have a Mexiverse to save. Okay. So we can't really change dimensions yet, so we'll probably get that eventually, which I know we will. <laughs> uh, I guess the town's just overrun with magical goat men now. Permanently? <clears throat> hey, do you know that... Do you think that you... Ah, I can't even read no more. Hey, do you think that they would let a human be a member of the Chicken Illuminati? What's the application process like? Do they have some sort of initiation test? Asking for a friend. I don't know if there is a uh, <laughs> initiation test at all whatsoever. All right, let me see what the map shows. Oh, we missed out a heart chest all that time. Okay, I didn't even know that. Oh, the location is literally down there. Agave field. Oh, that's when we came in, isn't it? Okay. Yeah, along the way, we should probably pick up some of these, uh, some of these other stuff, I guess, at the very least. Oh? Wow! Hey! They still make luchadors this small. Ugh. And I can tell you, just from the way you're standing, that you wouldn't be a quad. <clears throat> you wouldn't know a quadruple corkscrew suit lacks if it landed on your face. You may be able to get by for now, just stumbling through the brittle skeletons, but a guy your size is never gonna hack it in the lucha world without technique. Get to the skill screens and you will start training you on your grappling. 
you've got some catching up to do. Oh, so he's gonna invite us to do some grappling stuff. Oh, this is the chicken thing we haven't gotten to. Okay. Yeah, we haven't gotten this before, I think. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, this is the, uh... There's a new purchase available. I forgot what this ability was. Was that, like... I know there was, like, a downwards one, I think, but I don't remember what that... This this yellow block was. Because there was an ability that had that in the previous game, but I just can't remember for the life of me. Um... Get to the skill screen, and we'll start training you on the grappling. You've got some catching up to do. Okay. Uh, okay. I have not done any of the grapplings that much. Grab an enemy and drive it to the ground. Pile dri I, I know what a pile driver is. Grab an enemy and suplex down. Boot it away. Grab an enemy and kick it straight up. And this potentially unlocks these four other abilities. This is kind of like an easygoing ability tree, I feel like. <clears throat> but I don't really know if it's really much. I'll do it anyways. I'll do all of them actually. Might as well. Or if I can do all of it. So if you grab B down, B left, B right. I don't know what this one is. Maybe B up, I guess, because it says kick straight up. Alright, well I unlocked a majority of that ability, I guess. Oh mister, you're back from the J Temple. <gasps> Does this mean that you met the huge-normous, real scary giant skeleton? Wow, was he nice? I want to meet him. Uh, he was very nice, surprisingly. All right, let's get down to the yeah. Let's get down to here because I didn't get to go through here last time. Last time we went through, we didn't really go down here. Okay, there we go. I think we're okay with- oh, Jesus. Oh, he dodged my- my dash for like a quick second. Oh, no. There we go. Good enough. That was a close one. And dead for one, and dead for two. Awesome. Oh, those are like, I can't climb these, I can't wall jump on these things, I guess. I guess that's what they are, I don't know. There we go. Am I missing anything? I just realized. Yellow block. Was there a yellow block? I didn't even see that. Is that yellow block a yellow block, or... It is a yellow block, okay, cool. I just want to make sure that is the yellow block that, I, that I'm thinking of in the map. Right, let's move forward then. Lucha! <laughs> kind of knew that was coming. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I, so I can't do that. Okay. Huh? Oh, I see. I have to go from his back. Okay. I was confused for like a quick second because I was like, how do you. How do you not like be able to hit the guy like, the way the lady is? Oh, Jesus. There we go. I don't know how I messed that up, but I messed it up. Oh jeez. There we go. Oh, okay, I got them both. Cool. That was good. I like that. That was a pretty Oh jeez, I didn't realize that was like the literal like needle things. Why is it hiding behind the thing like this? Jeez. Oh, there's a red block up there, I think? Yeah, let's get this up here. Please. Unless this leads me... Oh, I don't have the ability to switch time or parallel universe thing. I not grab that yet. I'll have to, like, wait till I get the, uh, the other thing, ability-wise. Okay, 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 okay. This is <laughs> is this the <laughs> Mr. Krabs? <laughs> there we go. I just like how it's just like making that sound like Mr. Krabs would. Uh, well, I could have thrown the guy, even though yeah, I wanted to throw him into the bombings and stuff like that. Whatever. 
No, oh, I didn't mean to switch. Oh, I didn't mean to. I pressed the wrong button thinking that that was the ability that, was the ability that helped me. No, I'm dead. Okay. Okay, I need to not do it when they're spinning. Okay, there we go. I would love to kill them, but it's gonna take a bit of more time to get them both dead. There we go. Oh jeez. Oh, he's like kills himself at least. I'll take them dying. Yeah, there's a lot of dash ability based like, level design here. Right, cool. I'm wondering if like... I'm wondering if like uh... If the... I want to see what's over here first before we go to the left here. Oh, it's one of those challenges again. Ugh. Okay, these are insta-killables. Okay, I just want to make sure that these were the killable ones. Because I remember they were similar to what they looked like last time. Okay, there we go. Oh man, this is really weird. Oh jeez, that was scary. No! Oh, I was so close. Ah, oh, I had to go all the way back. I forgot that these things don't really have a good definitive checkpoint. So this one relies on a lot of like the the dash, I guess. The dash and the grapple. No! Ah! Oh. <laughs> I I timed it poorly. I like how it starts off with like the idea that you do one at a time first. So you like the first thing you do is dash, and then you grapple, and then you dash and then grapple and then this one's about the same pretty much in terms of like where to go next in a sense where it's just like you need to time it when you fall down and then use that as a directional part to propel you there we go oh boy i think i got the last piece for the fifth piece of stamina Car caralico i think it said so that means that now we can do more uh, stamina-based abilities. So that's pretty good. I'll take it. Wasn't expecting it pretty... Wasn't expecting it uh, this soon, pretty much. But I'll take it. Yep. Alrighty. Oh boy. We're gonna have to try to change time... Or change dimensions again. Yeah. Uh, let me smash this barrel at least. No, oh. Ah, oh, sheesh. No, come on. Oh, wait, there it is. I, I could wall jump into it. I, I didn't realize that for some reason. Nope. Good enough. Yeah, it's a little trickier to, to think of it. Is that what this is? Just getting them up onto the top, at least. Well, that's one of them at least. That's interesting that this one actually allows them to like jump. Like this is like my way of like playing <laughs> this part of the level here. <laughs> like you have to time their jumping. There we go. That is so weird, but okay, I guess. It is quite a challenge in a weird way. Okay, I thought there was gonna be a lucha again. No, I can't get through it. Okay. Mm, okay. Oh, I see, I see. I see what I have to do. Why did it turn me into chicken stuff? Oh no! Ah! Oh, <laughs> that kind of sucks a lot. There we go. I, I'll take that. Okay, whatever. What is that that chest down there, though? That chest is like literally like grayish. I need to aim higher, I guess. There we go. There we are, and we good, I guess. 
Actually, no, I don't want to do... <clears throat> I don't want to do down here yet until I get to the... That thing right there. I want to get the saving points first before we go further down here. Maybe staying as a chicken would be fine, I guess. Oh my god, that was a very, like, close one <laughs> if I didn't... If I hit the wrong one there. Wait, what? No! Aw, oh, okay. That was... No! Oh, come on, really? Okay, there we go. I need to, like, avoid certain things, I guess? I don't get it. I'm so confused now. Okay, that's what I was supposed to do. Alright, there we go. That's making it much more clearer for me now. Oh, jeez, this is the last one. There we go. Cool. What is this? Oh, it's just more gold, I guess. That's... That's pretty interesting. Alright, cool. Got it. Nice. I'll take it. No. Mm. Go. And we're back to the part where we're at. Cool. So I guess that skull, uh, or that gray, white, blue colored chest is literally just like the, the realm of the dead chest kind of style thing, I guess. That's what I think it is. Oh. I've never been here. Have I? Oh, this kind of takes us back all the way up, isn't it? Oh, okay, well he fell off somehow. Back there, and good. Okay, there we go. What is that green spike down there for? Okay, so we can't get that unless we're in the living of the dead, I believe. I mean, at least we're exploring a bit of the map a little bit, because I need to, like... I need to, like, understand what the other parts of the map mean for me, I guess. But at the same time, I'm just kind of curious myself of, like, what to do, or what to expect down here. There we go. And this should technically lead us back up, isn't it? I mean, I feel like there should be, like, a blocking that doesn't let me go back. Or let me, like, go through all this too easily, but... Oh, hey, finally, we got a heart. More health! Kashita de... Demi Kodazai, I think? I couldn't read it, right? I couldn't read it in time, I feel like. Uh, this is... Oh, that was the one thing on the map. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, there's one more chest over here that I just haven't gone back to, but I'll probably pick them up when I get, uh, yeah, when I get more abilities or when I need to revisit certain parts of the map that will require that I go back to those spots. We're so good in time. Okay. All right, let's get to the, let's get back to the, uh, villa something. I can't remember the, the village name. Oh, I forgot they fell down here, like, the last time we saw them. Villa Chula. Okay. Yes, let's get into this, at least. They said Al Alabrihe, so I'm guessing it's the witch, but it's not the witch. Would it be the wizard, then? Because we know we have the witch in our, our time, technically. She's still alive, and she's, like, teasing Juan sometimes, which is interesting sometimes. Alright, we got enough to purchase this. Should I purchase it? Perform Das Boot. How do you perform it? I'll like. oh, press B while grabbing an enemy. Ah, okay. I didn't realize that was what it is. Okay. Well, I'll purchase this anyways. Might as well. Screw it, you know? And then get this kind of prepared for myself personally. What would this do? Dodge an enemy, enemy, uh, dodge an enemy melee attack to make them grappable. Oh. That's really useful, actually. The sound effects of this area is really interesting. Is that a rooster? You look confused. You've never heard of me? How absurd. I, 
Rooster Ramirez, need no introduction. My pride, the pride of Peel City, the golden son of Chicken Dome. Please, no time for autographs. I mean, it's raining, so no. Yeah, it will wet the paper if I ask for an autograph during this time. The prophecy of the golden egg has brought me here. You have much to learn if the prophecy is to be fulfilled. But who better than I, Rooster Ramirez, voted best crest in high school to teach you the ways of the golden egg. You shall be my eager apprentice, young Padawan. Go on, and see the chicken tasks I've assigned you on your skills group. You might be, you might just see you, we might just see you with a silver medal on your chest before too long. Haha. <laughs> Unlikely. Alrighty, so we got a new trainer as well. What is this? Increase your pecking power. So does that mean my attack gets better or stronger as a chicken? I mean, I need that definitely, actually, because it would be meaningful to kind of like... What the hell is that? That picture looks kind of scary. Yeah, some of these pictures look kind of scary. What is this? I don't have the ability for that yet. I'm a little bit worried about this place. Uh, <laughs> El Pollo, El Pollo Gordo. <laughs> That's hilarious. My basket's made of a surprising effort. Nah, makes a surprisingly effective parasol, which is helpful because it seems like it never stops raining here. This restaurant holding its monthly tamal. Tamal. Tamale, isn't it? Monthly tamale eating contest tonight. Mm -hmm. Am I competing? You bet your sweet luchador tights. Winner gets 10 free tamales. Uh, wish me luck. Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. Sorry, I was just reading it and then my brain was like figuring out. Oh, it's Sonic. <laughs> a reference to Sonic over here. There's a reference to Sonic over this particular spot there. That's hilarious. Who's this? Hey! It's kind of nice to see a fellow luchador in town. How about it, bud? Care for a test of strength? You busy? Maybe some other time then. Sure. Pedro's Pinata Palace. I have a feeling that there's going to be a... Oh, this is so tempting. This is so tempting. Oh, this is all so tempting. Welcome to Pedro's Pinata Palace. I'm Pedro, and I have a passion for two things. Pinatas and Ponche. When the two pair, it's when the two pair, it's perfection. Why? Just look at your physique. It's like something out of my uh, out of mythology. And you were positively made to pop pinatas. Luchador, sir, you must indulge me. Show me what I love to see more than anything. Pop these pinatas. Oh, he has a prize in the back of them too. Hooray! But they don't give me prizes. Yes! Yes! I can't even... Ugh. Luchador, sir! You will not indulge me? No, I'm trying to jump up here, dude. I'm like... This is what I live for! Whew. Luchador, we share a passion for smashing. You've made this old man's heart ring sing. I want you to take what's in that chest. Carry out love of piñatas wherever you go. Okay. What is this, anyways? Oh, it's a costume thing. Okay. So if I want those chests for costumes, that's how I would go grab them, I guess. I mean, the, I've ever called the costumes were uh, unlockable based on coins, I think. You had to purchase them through the coins you get in this game, or in the previous games. But I mean, it's not that bad if you just have in-game coins to just use to like purchase the co costumes, because they pretty much align with ability grabbing anyways, or ability upgrade stats and stuff like that. This is my favorite place to think. Yep, hanging out down near the old dry fountain. What's with these kids doing? Are they playing Beyblade? I was gonna talk to them, but apparently you can't. I'm practicing to become a star soccer player. 
I let you kick this ball around with me, but I'm nervous you might launch into space. <laughs> I love that. My mama and papa want me to, or my, want me or my hermana to take over the family business when we grow up. But I don't want to. And when I grow up, I want to be something cool, like a toy maker or a wrestling coach, or an alligator. Alligator. The flower shop has been owned and run by my family for four generations, mm -hmm. which I'm not sure, but that I want to carry on the family business. I hope to carry. I hope, kind of hope, my little sister will want to take care of it instead. Mm -hmm. But she keeps making growling noises. Mm -hmm. Oh, because she wants to be an alligator. <laughs> but alligators don't growl, do they? Mmm, oh. oh. sacred guacamole, you say. Mm -hmm. Well, my secret ingredient is grapefruit juice. Lemon and lime are for cowards. If you're not puckering up, it's not safe. Mm -hmm. Head it somewhere? No. Mm -hmm. okay. Maybe next time, bud. See you later. Mm -hmm. The lady is a little bit creepy. This, 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 uh, nun lady sister. The sister's looking kind of creepy. I've been settling seeing these particular dark clouds lately. But hopefully it's just weird weather, but I'm having a strange feeling in my gut. Well that might be might have been the pepper emporium. Huh. Yeah, I don't wanna go down here yet. Is that a boba fit? Yeah, there's a boba fit. Bo boba fight is what they call it. Oh, is this big head guy? Big head guy again. Concante Peter Pepper Emporium. I find this rain to be quite refreshing. It's always so hot here. Really? I don't see the I don't see the heat coming out of it anywhere. Juan, I thought you were dead, buddy. It's me, Cabezon. So this can only mean one thing, you're from another timeline. I knew things were getting weird around here. I've always been intrigued by the idea of timeline rifts. How do they work? How are they created? How come they sometimes close immediately after entry, yet another, yet other times stay open forever? Seems pretty convenient. In any case, it's great to see you, man. I can't believe this big head is still back. I'm happy that he's still around, though. Oh, there it is. I was like wanting to talk to her. We Vichilo, we Villa Chulo. Townspeople are very proud of our town. Tall credit, credit ah. We Villa Chula townspeople are very proud of our tall, beautiful cacti. Don't touch mm -hmm. them, or not, or not because they're delicate of or anything. Just razor sharp. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is the place we need to go to. The top right here. Okay, cool. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys in the next episode or another or another video of mine. And hope you guys have a great, amazing day, week, and night, or whenever watching this. This will be it for now uh, for this episode. Uh, I don't have coins, do I? Yeah, I don't have enough coins to purchase uh, anything here so far. I need, to be, I need to keep picking up some more coins and such. Um, okay, I'm just seeing. I have not gotten a hundred hit combo, which is going to be incredibly difficult, honestly. Uh, and you have to hit it five times. Oof. Special moves cost no stamina after a hundred hits. Oh my god, that's incredibly crazy. <clears throat> that is a really incredibly crazy thing. All right, anyways, but yeah, next episode we'll go ahead and get into the Alabrije. Uh, Oh, it's the old lady again. Okay, I'll probably start this in the next episode. Uh, if I, if I like start the game and it spots me here. Um, but next episode we'll go ahead and talk to this old lady. Uh, talk to the Alabrije about the whole relic issue and stuff like that, and then we'll do that in the next episode. Uh, this town is pretty big to explore, so I do excuse me if I'm trying to talk to every individual in the whole like village over here. But I'm having I'm I'm having a time just reading through what they're having to say. Um, anyways, other than that, that's it for this episode. Hope to see you guys in the next one, or nobody minds, and hope you guys have a great, amazing day, weekend night, or whenever you're watching this. Roz! Ah.